All right, you all know what it is. It's Jersey Shore reviews from C, uh, from episode one all the way to twelve on the of the whole season two reunion doesn't count because all they do is just reminisce. It's a recap show. It doesn't matter. On that, we're going to start with uh, Polly and that crew. Um, on the basically the whole story starts off is the the season one ended off Jersey Shores here and Polly, Mike, Ronnie all decided to go to do it again in Miami this time. Well. And in Miami, very specifically, uh, they're get all getting different ways to get down there, which is cool on that. Um, Polly's picking up situation, and that's kind of humorous in the fact that Polly's complaining that the weather is rainy, and he says, girls hide in the rain. So I can see his point on that. And he finally gets the situation, but in the meantime, Nicole and her then-boyfriend, Emilio, on that we're getting ready for her to go down and we had a little thing about Obama saying that they increased the taxes um, on tanning because of Snooki <laughs> but I doubt it anyway uh, fast forward uh, those two groups Polly and Mike Jay Wow and Snooki decide to road trip go ahead down to Jer to Miami in this case on that while the others Vinny Ron Sammy and a surprise on that decide to fly down there now they all know who exactly is going to be there but they're not exactly sure on what waits for them in the, in the whole situation but anyway on the trip down uh, Mike and Polly are just going through funny times because they come to for example South Carolina which they find fireworks illegal they go out there to launch the fireworks and they're Escalade gets stuck in the mud. Now here's an interesting thing. Polly showed up in some sort of Honda Civic or Celica when he picked up situation. All of a sudden they're in an Escalade. <laughs> and in that one scene when he picked up um, Mike on that here, he left with Mike in the subcompact car, not in the Escalade. <laughs> I don't know what happened there. It never was explained. But Snooky on the head left with the Escalade. On that, so I guess maybe that's her car. So that explains a little more. But the whole Mike, um, Polly, all of a sudden switching to Escalade, eh, I don't know how that stemmed out. But we'll get back to that later. Anyway, they're going out of South Carolina. They find legal fireworks. And they drive there and they get stuck in the mud. On that. Now, first of all, you're driving a $70,000 automobile. The last thing you would do is drive this thing in mud. Oh well, oh to be young again, I have to say. So, anyway, we fast forward a little bit. They get stuck in the mud. The AAA comes out there to pick them up. The AAA car gets stuck in the mud. Uh, so, they have to call another AAA car to go ahead and pick them up. All, both vehicles out. So, they finally get both vehicles out. They launch the fireworks, and they're on their way to Miami. Okay? Now on the flip side of things, Nicole and Snooki, I'm sorry, no, Jay Wow and Snooki are going to through South Carolina as well, and they run into this bar, which they thought, okay, we'll go in there and have some food. <laughs> and they go in there, there's nobody there. So I figure, okay, we'll get some food and just get the hell out of there. Alright, that's cool. And while they're there, there's a dude that approaches both of them. Now Knowing from experience on that, seeing this before, seeing girls like that, and if you don't have a game to walk up there and game it right, oof, you're walking into a world of pain on that because they'll tease and clown your ass, and they did exactly that. They said, Can you fist pump? Even I didn't even know what fist pump until Jersey Shore was. Shows how cool I am. And uh, the guy did it worse than me. I, I mean, it was just, bleh, I don't know, it didn't make any sense. And Nicole had this comment, he says, he I think he makes his living having sex with his sister, which was gross, but funny. Uh, and rednecky in that area. Uh, but she did have uh, deep fried pickles, which I've had deep fried asparagus. And I see where she's going, that it is good. It is, it, but I guess anything deep fried, heck, even ants probably would taste good. <laughs> but anyway, so they get down there and they finally get down to Florida. Okay, so both teams get down there, 
Well, actually, I shouldn't say both teams. It's not really teams, but first, uh, the real race is on to get there is because Mike and Polly want to pick beds out because they don't want to get shafted by the girls picking the best beds. Familiar story. So anyway, they get down there and they get their stuff up and they're they're wondering, okay, who's going to be there? Who who's going to show up? And of all people to show up, their buddy Angelina. <laughs> And you can see it on their faces. They're like, uh, "Hi, how are you doing?" And I, I can, uh, I can see that little experience they were going through. I've seen that a couple of times. Ugh, what the hell are you doing here? You know, it's, it's like I've been on the receiving end and I've done it on the sending end as both, so I can tell the experience. But anyway, <laughs> so Angelina's like, "Oh, I love you guys. I love you guys." And he's like. Uh, can I sleep in your room? And they're like, uh, yeah. And then Mike's like, what the? Uh, you know, it's just no. And then, because Mike and Polly are on the same wavelength here, what their mission is in Miami, and it's not babysitting Angelina. Even though she's a roomie or a former roomie, and they did kind of, Mike was the only one that was caring about her to even give her a chance. <laughs> And then what was funny, and after Angelina shows up, guess who shows up next on that? Um, I believe in this case, because those notes got crunched by accident, some other story, but it was then um, Snooki and JWoww show up and I'm like, what the hell is she doing here? So it all kind of stemmed around Angelina in the beginning, and then here comes Sammy Raw. No, I'm sorry, no, it was. Angelina, then it was Vinny, and Vinny was like, uh, -huh. and then it was Jay Wow and all of them. They show up, and basically everyone comes in confused, going, What is she doing here? On the so they uh, essentially they all end up going out to a club on that, and then the drama starts with Angelina on that. It's kind of a bad situation overall. But we'll get back to that on episode two because I've noticed interesting with all these episodes. In the beginning, they recap everything of either one or five episodes, which can get a little annoying because it's a very cheap way of filling episode time on that uh, if they don't have content. I mean, example this is Sons of Anarchy. You have a certain batch of time. They don't recap unless they absolutely have to. They they just go into it and then to their title sequence and on with it. All right, but let's go. We're gonna go on now to episode two. Have a good day.